Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Blazing Emerald Hardcore Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are enjoying this series, show some love, hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We are throwing down here on our second episode. I'm doing this live, of course, with the Twitch homies. We've got some really cool Pokemon on our team. We're ultimately gonna be taking on Roxanne and the Rock Type Gym, our first gym in the Hardcore Nuzlocke. As always, if you guys are looking for some sweet merch, you can check out my Team Shawnee shirts at teamshawnee.com. We've got some amazing t-shirt designs you guys can rep, and uh, I've got the sweet Charizard one on, so definitely show some love there. If you guys wanna pick them up, we got some t-shirt bundles and all sorts of great stuff, so don't miss out on that. And let's keep it rocking, man. We got some new Pokemon to catch. We've got some new opportunities, some new routes. So let's see what's in front of us. Let's do it. Route 115, usually you don't catch anything here. And yeah, we do have to do Devon Corp, uh, but here is the new route right here, Route 116. And looks like there's a slew of new Pokemon here. I would love a Ninjask and a Shininja. Pretty unlikely, but let's test our luck. What is our encounter gonna be? Let's actually go, dude. We can get a Shininja. And I'm gonna name it Genji because he's gonna be a ninja-ask. All right, there is our Genji. Now, a lot of people don't know this about Genji, but this little bug and ground type is actually a track star at their local high school. Uh, I know it doesn't look very fast, but boy oh boy, when he gets going, he does not stop. Won three state opens and, and was invited for an Olympic tryout. So, don't sleep on him. Uh, I'll put a little milk in the front. A little milk is lactose intolerant. Perfect time to bust out a wing attack. Yeah, everyone hits 15. I think that is the level cap. Oh, there's a double battle here. There it is. There was like two ways it could be a double battle. That's funny. Dragon Rage is, is stupid though. Like I honestly, I might just like win the gym with Dragon Rage. All right, so I do get a new encounter as well. I hope it's not just Whismers. It's Whisper and one other thing. So it's gonna be Whismer. Can't say I didn't expect that one. All right, so we do get the little Whismer. Now the only thing about Boombox, I think it's worth noting, like it should definitely be addressed. Does not like loud noises. Doesn't like loud noises and only listens to music on their AirPod Pros. So you make of that what you will. Um, the only thing I really need to do is get Genji to 15. So let's just beat up. Oh, I could have got Whismer out here too, go figure. So Genji's the only thing that gets levels at this point. Actually, I should probably have Whismer, right? Like Boombox. Yeah, we want to hit the level cap on everything. Oh, Bandito stole something. Stole an antidote from this guy's pocket. You can see I was clearly right behind this guy. And Bandito stole that, that from his pocket, which is really thoughtful. And he did it again. Stole a Great Ball right out of this dude's pocket. Didn't even see it coming. Stole a Repel right from this kid's pocket right here. Oh, the, the, that's interesting. The Abra teleporting actually made it so... The whole battle ended, not just the Abra. I guess that makes sense though. Right there, he learns Night Slash? Hello. My dude just learned Night Slash at level 14. I'm very nervous about this gym, I am, but I think we can make it work. I do have Berry, let me give a Berry to everybody. A uh, little Milk, it's a Berry. I think we're gonna be okay. Like, I think I have a good enough team to make this work. Okay, the first gym, it's time. Here we go. How's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I can give you some winning advice. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide the expert advice. All right, she can't stand water and grass type moves. Okay, now remember, this is a hardcore Nuzlocke, so no items in battle. I'm at a level cap now. I'm gonna give a berry to Bandito as well, because him picking up an item here doesn't really matter. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so I can test the strength of my Pokemon in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? She's got three Mons, kicking things off with an Aaron. And before this thing sets up Stealth Rock, I'm gonna Leech Seed. I mi oh, I, I thought I missed. Metal Claw, okay. This is fine. Oh, he gets an attack boost right out the gates. Eh. I am going to Bullet Seed. The attack boost has me really nervous. That did nothing, dude. This is gonna, we're gonna get blown back, dude. And 
and we just lost our little friend right out the gates. It's a crit. An attack boost into a critical hit. I think a Dragon Rage probably knocks him out at this range. He, the fact that he got that attack boost is ridiculous. I either Dragon Rage with Scorch or I Mud Slab with Genji. Like a level 13 Aeron should not have more HP than, you know, these Pokemon at that range. So I think the Dragon Rage is the play here. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah it definitely dies to Dragon Rage. He definitely dies to Dragon Rage. Yeah, he definitely, he's at 50%. He definitely dies to Dragon Rage. Okay. Dude, I really get super hacked on the first, like, first major battle. I lose one up right away. Here comes a Geo, dude. I 1 million percent can't just stay in here. But the problem is, like, I don't have switch ins at all. That's the issue right now, is I just don't have switch ins, right? So, like, if this thing goes for Rock Tomb right now, Bandito is then gonna be slowed, and he's gonna have to take two Rock Tombs before I can get a Bullet Seed off. My Shroomish was, like, the 100% the play for this. I'm faster still, that's the good news. Come on, I need, I need three, maybe four hits. Oh, I get the four hits, Bandito! Reach into Roxanne's pocket and steal her wallet! One more. Marini, what is that Marini? Bro, that thing is crazy. Okay, so we know it's, that thing is nuts. We know it's rock. Is it rock and ice? I kind of want to cut, which is steel, because that would be four times super effective. That, that was a crit. That was a crit. It was big. It's got poison point! Bandito, I'm so sorry. Oh, Bandito eats that. Bandito eats that. We're good. But I have to switch him out now. Oh, he's got a berry. He's got a berry. Okay. I Here's the thing. We win this with Scorch now, with Dragon with dragon, uh, whatever, dragon rage. I don't know if I'm living, I have to sack something, I think, in order to get to that. I'm gonna go Genji and then mud slap, but I don't know how, how Genji takes this. I do have an Orenberry, spike cannon! Oh, that does nothing, that does nothing. He's gonna miss, he's gonna miss. <gasps> yes, four times super effective, it's a poison type, let's go! Genji clutches up, wins the race and takes down Roxanne. That was, that was sketch, dude. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I have the ability to add the badge on the layout from what KG gave me. Oh, badges, yeah, he did. Boom, adding it to the layout. That's really sad that we lost one up though. Uh, Shady, I don't know if you saw what I named my Wingle, but I'm gonna show you here shortly. I wanna introduce you to Lil Milk. The thing about Lil Milk that I think people need to understand is that even though he is lactose intolerant, he still enjoys a good Ben and Jerry's from time to time. So, he goes, he gets the runs, but I mean, how do you pass up the tonight though? Never even consumed its berry. One up, was scared of forest and its own shadow. Clearly was scared of Aaron's rock tomb. See you later, buddy. And as a result, we do add Boombox back to the team or to the team for the first time. And might I remind you, Boombox does not like loud noises. So I'm gonna need to politely request that we keep things quiet and understand that if he doesn't have his AirPod Pros in, he doesn't wanna hear you. He's able to bypass ghost immunities with his visionary ability. Okay, so you actually bring up a very good idea. I probably should leave an open slot for Genji because we're gonna evolve at level 20. So you know what, Boombox? You can have some more quiet time in the PC for now and we'll figure you out later because I need an open slot, so. Oh, it's you, you're the fantastic trainer who helped me in the Petalburg Woods. I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't get them pots back. But the, you know, the thing is of not having Boombox on the team right now, he's losing out on a ton of XP that I may need. I guess I could always get it later. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Boombox. I feel like that's, that's a lot of XP that I'm missing. Chat, you guys were not being quiet and thus Boombox is very upset. I, I I make the bold prediction that I lose at least three Pokemon in this playthrough to me speeding up, by the way. Shady got card carried by the whole game by Big Milk. Don't underestimate Little Milk. Typical Shady getting carried by a bird. All of that was worth it because I got the Quick Claw. Quick Claw on, I guess Genji. Oh yeah, we need to open up the, um, the thing. Oh, Mr. Briny. 
Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an old thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Oh, Pico! Whatever you say, the rust turf tunnel. What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. Why are you backing up, dog? Keyhole and all. What the, what the, what the, what the, what the what's it? You wanna battle me? You wanna battle me? You wanna battle me? Okay, easy. His career in crime comes to an end. Look at me, crime fighting bandito. My man steals stuff and then, and then beats the guys who steal stuff. Pico owes their life to you. They call me Mr. Briny. Come on my boat. You know what they tell you kids though, right? Like ever since I was a young age, my parents always told me not to get on boats with strangers. And here we are. Hey, yo, bro, I got you. How did they go? You got him back. I'll give you another great ball. My man's just carrying around with great balls. That's two of them now. Sir. <laughs> Our president's office is on this floor. Uh, can I get you to, who, am I running just, I'm running errands for you now? Now I'm running errands for you. Do you not realize that I have one, let me repeat, one gym badge? I'm practically a, a Pokemon master at this point. Oh, I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. Why isn't it called the Stone Corporation? I just got a word about you. I guess he's the president, but still. You saved our staff not just once, but twice, and you got two great balls. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. You didn't give me a choice. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? Dog, listen, get DoorDash or something. Like, why are you calling me to do all this? Now, you should know that I am a great president, and I also like to toot my own horn. Toot toot. So I'd never be cheap to ask for a favor for nothing in return. You got the Dash Pass? That's why I want you to have this. Another great ball! I've been developing an added feature, and it turned out great. The thing we just gave you that you haven't even used yet. Here you go. Now we can pester you with phone calls. I want to let you know about your, oh, I have to use this. I wanted to let you know about your cause extended warranty. Triple digit Dan. <laughs> oh God, are you gonna battle me? Hey, I drive, you had a match call feature. Let's register each other. Uh, go see Mr. Brinery and, oh, go, no! Oh no, I clicked yes. I hope she's not stacked. She's got two Pokemon. Oh, it's level 15 Pikachu though. That's serious. Okay. Time for Genji, baby. Unleash the ninja. You can't Thundershock me. You can't Thundershock me. You can't spark me either. Oh, that did nothing. I thought, I thought that was, uh, I thought that this is Ash's Pikachu. Didn't anticipate that. The Iron Tail. We're good, Genji's a legend. We're good, we're good. Everyone can calm down. Bandito's trying to, oh, Bandito's trying to steal some more stuff. Let's get it. Let's get it. Amethyst learning Mega Drain. I mean, that's better than, than Absorb, so we take that. All right, Boombox gets level, what else? Oh, you have Eevee, right? Yeah, Eevee. Well, I think it's only fair that if I'm gonna battle your Eevee, that I send out my Scorch. Did a good amount, actually. My Dragon Rage, it's faster than me. Let's see how much this Dragon Rage does. My Berry's gonna activate, so we're good. And I just twist her, even if it quick attacks, we're fine. Although a crit could have been spicy there. Not too bad, all right. Caught off guard there a little bit by that battle, but we made it work. Boombox catches up to the squad at 40, uh, 15 and gets Howl. A Poison Barb, yo! Don't really have anyone that takes advantage of that yet, but. I like when they give you items because it makes me happy. Oh, the Venonat again, man, they're teasing me. And a Leaf Stone, ooh, a Leaf Stone, okay. That's the badge from Rust Barrow. You should try using this item. And a Miracle Seed, which would be great for the one-up that we don't have. Uh, I will give it to Amethyst, though. Is that a Static Pine Cone? Oh, this is a pink flower, isn't it? Grove! 
I don't have rock smash though. All right, so we have to come back here. We're in a hidden grove, but I need rock smash. So we'll come back for this. That's sick. Oh my God, I want it. Do I, I, I get to catch statics, I do. It's a static pine cone, let's get it. Level 10. Apparently he doesn't have blow up. I'm gonna throw a great ball. Dude, if I can have a pineco on the team, that's gonna be massive. Dude, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. Dude, I'm excited for this. Static pineco, baby, let's go. Dude, that was a nice treat, a static pineco. All right, I think we're done here. This is the guy that told me about the pink flowers, right? Yeah. All right, word, so now I'm gonna go heal real quick and then we'll go take a look at our pineco. I definitely wanna add him to the team. Make sure I have room for Shedinja. Yeah, I still have a few levels, so we're fine. All right, we'll come back to him. Let's go to Duford, because like we basically just teleport to Duford at this point. Hold on, lass! Yeah, just take me there, dude. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I gotta find the fisherman. Oh, this is different. This Duford is different. Du Dushan Beach is a new location. They changed Duford. I need to find the rod. I need to find the rod, and then I need to go back to the original route that we were on. Where's the fisherman, bro? Is this it? Yo, he gave me an old rod. Okay, 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 okay. Do I fish here first? Oh my God, stop talking to me. Okay, so I think what I do is I think I fish here first in Duford. We have a bunch of encounters, right? So like there's a ton of encounters we're about to get. Is there a Mart here? I don't think so. This is our first one, Duford Town. Okay, what do we get? A Magikarp, okay. So we got a Magikarp. All right, we got Shrimp. This is Route 107, so we get another fishing encounter here. Garbana! I'll take it. Does Water Gun knock it out? Oh my God, this does a lot of damage. Oh, he just hit himself, so much of confusion, okay. Let's get it, baby, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Jaws, duh. And then we get another encounter here on Route 106. Is there anything new here? Or am I just gonna get the same stuff? Oh, tentacool! Yo, that's a new tentacool! Yo, it looks so good! Oh, I want it, I want it, I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it. Mmm, spicy on the first try. So I'm gonna name him Kenny. And the reason why is uh, one of my favorite YouTubers that I, I watched for many, many years, uh, Pyrotaz, Tommy, he named his tentacle in competitive because he used to run EVLA tentacle, Kenny, and it would die in every battle and, and it would be like the you killed Kenny thing. Anyway, here's what we just got. We've got a swift swimming Magikarp. A hasty rough skin Carvana, which was very strong by the way. 23 attack is kind of nuts for a level eight Pokemon. Like that's, that's really strong. And then water electric rain dish Kenny with Aqua Jet. This is tough to make. I mean, I have to add that thing to my team. Let me, um, I think now we can backtrack and go fish because there's a couple spots that I didn't fish. One is I have a Petalburg encounter, right? We never got an encounter here, so I get an encounter in Petalburg, which may be better off for Surf, honestly. I'll see what comes up. A Goldeen, all right, I should have Surfed, but. One more encounter, which is the route up here, which I previously skipped, and I skipped it. Oh, you know, I need to repel though, I need to repel. Okay, we repel. This guy right here said there's a weird Pokemon with a spiral shell. So let's do it. Let's see what that is. Maybe I can get it with the old rod. I mean, Omanyte is like the thing I think of when I think of a spiral shell. Oh, it is Omanyte! Yo, Lord Helix right here, dude. That's sick that I just, I just got a, a really cool Pokemon. This is a really cool Pokemon. Um, I love the little hints that the people give you. Like they gave me the hint about the um, the Venonat text. There's also the hints about um, the, the secret area with the pink flowers. I have one more encounter, which is north of Rustboro that someone just mentioned in chat, which is a very good point. So let's go do that too. Box looking like a pool party, I know. I'm set for uh, water types for the rest of the game, I would say. I think taking the encounter now is probably, it's, I think it's always better to just take the encounter now. 
It's only dupes here. All right, I'm being told that there's no point. There's only dupes. So, all right, we have made it back to Duford. And I think this is actually a really good spot for us to wrap up this episode of our Pokemon Blazing Emerald Hardcore Nuzlocke. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you guys did. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'll be posting this uh, video pretty frequently. Also, check out Team Shiny t-shirts if you guys are looking for some sweet merch. TeamShiny.com. That's it for me, guys. We got our first gym, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.